ukigoshi, the floating hip throw. This is a throw that's sort of similar to uchimata, but we don't reap with our leg. So it goes like this. I have my overhook position. Okay, so what I want to do, I want to bring my upper body to the center line or slightly behind it. Still do the same thing as the other throws. Just like ugoshi, I come in straight in like this. But with ukigoshi, I'm just staying in the middle right here. I'm still using my hip, but I'm spearing it into my opponent. So when I come in for ukigoshi, I can still do this power step, but I power step in the middle of my opponent. I don't go near his foot to clear my hips this way. I want to keep it in the middle, right by his center line. So I'm right here. I do the same power step. I go to the top of the triangle. As I shift my body weight to the center line, I spear him straight back. And I got ukigoshi. Just a shortened version of ogoshi. So I'm right here. The mechanics are pretty much the same. When I decide to come in, I still need to pull my opponent's upper body across my torso. So when I do this, I do the big power step, I go in the middle, and now my hip is primed to spear my opponent right through as I pull his arm across my body. Again, another scenario where I attempt Uchimata, I'll pull him towards me, he'll step away, right here. Now I can fake an Ochigari, he steps back, and now I can go right into Ukigoshi. Ukigoshi, the floating hip 